Hey, Gemini, I saw the Intuition Tarot. Glad to see you back. Let's get your reading started. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Gemini. Start out with the lovers. That is your current feeling. You want to extend love to somebody. Uh, somebody, it could re it's representing somebody that is your lover. And if um, you don't have a lover right now, you're looking forward to having one in the future. All right. Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What we need to know. Gemini. We have the courtship. Uh, maybe you're hoping to uh, go out with somebody. You're thinking about that. Or you've already met this person and you've went out several times. Also, we have the journey card. Um, maybe y'all uh, just got back from somewhere together. Or you took a little trip somewhere. Or you're planning on taking a trip with this person. You also have the mature woman. Um, which represents a older woman. Possibly your mother. Um, their mother. Somebody other than you. That um, is trying to block this. Uh, she doesn't want y'all to be together. Your expectations are high. You really want this to work out. Uh, this person uh, you seem to want to give your love to. Let's get one on this mature woman and see why she's not liking this. What's going on with this lady? What's going on for Gemini? Gemini. Okay. Okay. We have the distant horizons because she doesn't see a future for y'all. In her mind, this ain't going to work out. Either she don't want her son or daughter to be with you. Let's have one on expectations. Expectations for Gemini. Like we tell Gemini with expectation. Alright, we have thoughts. You're having many thoughts. They're having many thoughts about you. Uh, you're thinking about good times. Uh, you're in their mind. It's the same lady, you know, on the card, which represents they're thinking about you. Thinking a lot about uh, your journey you're on together, you know, how it's going to unfold. Toil and labor is in the reverse. Which means uh, they're thinking about it, but they're not really working on it. Uh, not coming forward to make it happen. Um, maybe you have a lot of people involved here, community. Um, maybe standing in the way, somebody. A uh, false person in reverse. Nobody is uh, trying to be false. Or you're showing your true intentions. Uh, you're hoping that it'll move forward, but nobody seems to be making a move here. You know, you got to keep consistent with the relationship or pursuing someone if that's what you want to happen. Let's get one on the lovers for Gemini. The lovers. Wow, a bunch of cards. Pathway. It seems like uh, y'all are on two different paths or you feel like you are. Um, you thought, you know, y'all were both on the same page as far as wanting the same things. And possibly you found out that there's different paths that y'all are in, you know, on in your life. Sorry. Um, somebody's in despair over this. Fearing it's not going to work out. Fearing y'all are not going to be able to move forward with this. Uh, maybe uh, this mature woman is having things to say about it. And uh, making you feel uncomfortable about it. With what her words are trying to say. Occupations in reverse. Um, something that you like doing. 
maybe it's not something you want to keep pursuing anymore. One on a poor ship, poor Gemini. Poor ship, poor Gemini. Main female in reverse. Uh, whoever the woman is in this situation is feeling unsure. Possibly because outside influences with the community card. Uh, other people are putting a bug in your ear or giving you all the reasons why this can't move forward and looks like you're thinking about it, which is inevitably getting in the way of this moving forward with the journey card. You can't move forward, have an official person in reverse, which means uh, it's not official yet. Y'all's relationship is not official, not officially made a commitment. Uh, what else does Jim and I need to know? We had the message of concern. Um, maybe they're going to text you. You're going to text them and tell them you're concerned about what's being said. Um, about why this relationship's not moving forward. Uh, about what other people are saying about it. And maybe you've uh, got a message that's caused concern. And you're failing to uh, launch this relationship, you know, into something more committed. Put on the message of concern for Gemini. We have main male. Something to do with the main male in this uh, poverty in reverse. Uh, you're not in poverty. You're not starving the relationship or anything. The male... Uh, there's a problem with the male in this situation. Okay, it's got sudden wealth. Having to work very hard for everything that he gets. Um, maybe he has work that's getting in the way, which you have to provide for yourself. And maybe he's just, uh, maybe he's got child support with the child in the card. Uh, or you do. Uh, high honor want you to hold him in high honor because you know uh, that's how he wants you to look at him and or he held you in high honor it came beside the child card uh, having to wonder about how to bring this relationship together because somebody in the mix possibly has a child they need to uh, concerns in reverse you know, not putting a big emphasis on it, uh, thinking that the child in the situation uh, is going to work out fine, that everything's going to be good moving forward with this. But, you know, just trying to be real stable and make the right decisions because they look at you as a privileged lady. And um, right now they're not able to give you great fortune or... Uh, stability that they are really wanting to give to you at this time. That doesn't mean that things won't change in the future. It's good that they're, you know, not moving forward as fast as maybe you want to, but there's circumstances that, you know, have to happen before they can make a commitment. We also have judication um, in reverse justice uh in reverse yeah there's some things that's you know not able to move forward because of maybe their financial situation or maybe this mature woman has a problem with somebody uh an ex dating you because they have a child together and they've got many things to say about the situation. They don't want that, that your person to move on with their life. Let's get an outcome for this. For Gemini. What's the outcome? The outcome is the house. Um, maybe they're wondering uh, where's, if you move forward, where would you live? Would they have to buy a bigger home? Uh, would y'all live together? 
Um, maybe there's a child in the home, how they're going to work that out. And maybe that's concern of the ex mature woman that's wanting to know how's this going to work out. Or she doesn't want to work it out. She doesn't want you to be in the home. Unexpected income. Um, maybe you want to come into some money. Possibly. Or there's money involved here. Uh, and she doesn't want you taking from her mouth. Maybe she gets spousal support or there's child support. And, uh, or they're having to sell a house that they had and divide it. There's a lot of, uh, loose ends that need to be brought, you know, fixed before she wants him to move forward with his life, which will be never ending. Looks like he'll be jumping through hoops. Change, but something's got to change in this situation for it to move forward. Um, Somebody's packing up and leaving. He possibly moved out of the family home and wants change for his life. Uh, you know, selling the house, uh, finding somewhere else to live, or possibly moving in together with you. Could be in the future. All right, let's get some other cards. See if we can clarify. All right, we have King of Swords. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas. He's a, uh, you know, has good instincts and he knows what he's doing. So just give him credit with that. He's coming in, uh, standing his ground with this person. If that's what you're wanting, he is standing ground with this uh, individual, and he's going to make his own decisions. He is the King of Swords, and he will cut anybody out that does not serve him. He, uh, you know. He, you may not be able to tell it because this King of Swords, he conceals his emotions, but you can see it through his actions. He's going to show people. He's not a big emotional person. He makes head over heart decisions. All right. What on the King of Swords? Could represent an air sign also. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. May mean something to you. Also, we have yeah the two of pentacles. He's trying to balance out the situation so that everyone can be happy, um, you know, and not trying to bring you in until everything's stable. You know, he's got a lot of commitments, and uh, you know, there's a lot of waves in the background, and he's trying to balance out everything uh, that could cause some upset or drama in. Y'all's relationship, he's going to balance that shit out before it ever happens, okay? Also, we have the sun card, and that means happy times. So, you can look forward to happy times once he gets this done. There's going to be happy times, and you can count on that, because he really wants to make you happy. Aw. Okay, um... So, in the meantime, you just rest, relax, take care of yourself, uh, love yourself, uh, know that, um, you know, just mentally prepare for what's going to be going on in your life, The, uh, you know, moving forward with this individual, and just relax. He's got everything taken care of. All right, what else do we need to know for Gemini? Gemini. All right, we have the high priestess. Use your intuition. Uh, you feel it in your gut that this is going, you know, to move forward, and he's pretty happy about it. He's making a way to help, you know, this relationship along. And you know, use your instinct. Um, you know, just let all the drama go on, and you just sit back unfazed, okay? Because y'all are going to have the four wants, which is 11-11 card, which is happy, uh, happiness, with or without, you know, maybe he didn't come in with the most money. He's got a child, or you have a child. You know, maybe y'all aren't, you know, monetarily where you want to be, but, you know, you love each other. 
You're going to have the happy home. Money doesn't always mean happiness. And y'all know that. Because he's come in with his cup of love. And he's hesitant. He's going to make sure that you're feeling the same way. And that things will move on as they should. We have the chariot in reverse. Uh, somebody's being ruthless in this. Possibly an ex being ruthless in this. So watch out for this person. Uh, you know. She didn't want him to move forward. And that's her. That's what she's her game is. She's not wanting him to move forward with you or anybody. And it, you know, it not just about you. This per individual doesn't want this person to move forward at all. Two of Wands. Um, you know, it, it's going to take a uh, control of this situation, and he's got the world in his hands, and he's going to, you know, he's stable. He's getting stabler. He's going to take action. He's going to move forward. He's looking out in the horizon. He's not looking behind at what I was left behind. He's ready to make a life for himself. What else? We need to tell Gemini. What's the outcome for Gemini's situation with this love partner? The outcome for Gemini in the situation. We have the Ten of Wands. This person, their per ex-person or whatever, it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. You know, when people come in a relationship with kids, uh, overbearing family members or what have you, uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Which, you know, anything worth having, you got to work for it, honey. Just saying. Also, got the lovers, all right? You know, you can choose whether to love this person with everything they entail and everything they're bringing to the table or not. It, the lover's card is telling you, you have a choice. So, whatever choice you choose, you know, do it with your heart. And uh, think about it and choose what path that you want to be on. All right, Gemini, that you're reading. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I hope to see you back. Salt Intuition Tarot. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.